There are renewed questions tonight about police use of force in connection with an arrest at a pro-Palestinian demonstration in Toronto earlier this month. For the first time, we're hearing from the alleged victim. CTV's Allison Hurst reports. Appearing to strike and pin a man to the ground, officers make an arrest at a pro-Palestinian demonstration on December 10th. Part of this video has been previously reported on by CTV News, but what's new is the first five seconds before an officer puts his knee on the suspect. The guy is face down, motionless on the ground before the knee ever shows up. So to, I think to most ordinary Canadians, that's going to feel like excessive force, that's going to feel like police brutality. Toronto police have denied the officer's knee was on the man's neck. Toronto Police Services spokesperson says the officers are taking the man to the ground who a few seconds earlier attacked a police officer from behind. The officers don't know in that moment who he is, what his motivations are, or if he had any weapons in his hands, so they are using the force necessary to render the situation safe for themselves and everyone around them. You know, people don't like to get arrested and they tend to struggle. If he was not compliant with, with respect to, say, putting his arms uh, behind his back, things of that nature, that is sort of the struggle that we're seeing as well. Former Detective Mark Mendelson says Toronto police also have access to the officer's body cameras, whereas this video only shows one angle. They may have had five or six or up to ten different angles and versions uh, of what this event was all about. Adam Mellinson, the man being arrested in the footage, released a statement through his lawyer, which says in part... The troubling use of force that officers displayed during the arrest is reflective of an increasing climate of intimidation towards Palestinian solidarity activists in Toronto. There have been hundreds of protests across the city since October 7th and nearly weekly demonstrations by this group calling for a ceasefire. Toronto police have said the vast majority have remained peaceful. Alison Hurst, CTV News, Toronto.